Hey, Shwahara, welcome to my channel to Be Witchy Reader. So this is a bit overdue. I, I thought I already did this review. Apparently I did not. And um, I've been uh, very busy and also not feeling too great. So um, I haven't uh, had the time to film much. But I'm trying to get back into it because there's several film videos I want to film. So I'm fi um, finally going to film um, a book review that I read um, a bit ago that I really enjoy. It's called Oak Keeper on the Other Hand. And I loved it. Um, it's by Ellie Lieberman. And um, basically, the main character is, um, it's kind of has this messed up world. Like, he doesn't have the best life. And um, he ends up having to rescue his sister from his uncle, I think. It's been a minute since I read it. But, um, and I absolutely love the relationship. Their relationship felt so real as someone with many siblings. I'm the oldest of six, so I am very versed when it comes to siblings and if the sibling relationship feels real, which is why I love sibling relationships when you get to see all sides to it. The fighting because they're mad at each other, or the bantering and teasing and joking because they're playing with each other, or the really sweet heartfelt moments. Like sibling relationships that show all, okay, all three forms of siblings are my favorite and th this one definitely did it and I, they definitely felt real and um, I just I love their relationship, their banter and um, their um, sibling relationship, how much they love each other but obviously they still fight and they tease and I love it. I loved it whenever the sister would t uh, uh, team up with the uh, story keeper, I think she was, um, against him, and then he was just so over the two of them, the entire journey, it was hilarious. But they were obviously on this journey, um, about, for a dragon egg, and, um, I liked his relationship with the uh, story keeper too. Um, they did not like each other at first, and I think by the end they, I don't think they, I would say they necessarily grew to like each other, but I think they grew to respect each other, and I really like that. I like relations like that where it's like, I don't like you, but I respect you, especially when you see that transition, like they did not like each other, but then by the end they at least respected each other. I just really liked their relationship, and that, that growth from going to, um, I can't stand you too, but you are respectable at the very least, and seeing that growth and um, everything um, the uh, he did for his sister to save her, um, I think really helped her to the story keeper to respect him, and when he realized that everything she does is literally just because it's her job, it's her duty, it helps him gain respect for her as well and uh yeah but i like the fight he had with that uh one guy i do not remember his name i just remember he was a jerk and um at the end and they had the fight and um there was this really sad scene when he had to say goodbye to his sister because he had two other things to do and um storytellers for two not story keeper okay um but yeah i just but, um, I love the magic and world building. The world definitely seems interesting. I love the magic when it came to, um, oaths, because it's called Oath Keeper on the uh, other hand, and, um, basically, um, he ends up making an oath with the teller, um, to, uh, get the dragon egg, but also he, to protect his sister. And... So he was uh, on the journey to do that. The fight was amazing. I love a good battle scene, which you should know by now. I'm obsessed with battle scenes, and I felt like this one was really good and interesting. And um, he, I loved how it showed he would do anything for his sister, even if his sister being mad at him. And like I said, the magic was beautiful. The dragon was beautiful. And it was just so amazing, and I absolutely love this book. It's a novella, so it wasn't too long. It was only like 70-ish pages. Um, but it was so good and phenomenal and um, definitely one of my favorite reads of this year so far. And I definitely highly, highly recommend it to anyone who hasn't read it. Um, if you like dragons and um, sibling relationships and uh, 
magic and world building and uh, fights. This has everything. I definitely uh, think it is definitely worth checking out. Uh, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and comment. And I'll shout out to you guys below in the comments. Until next time.